In this video, we're taking a quick look at the Air Travel Zip wallet. Make sure to head over to packhacker.com for more details, link in the description below. Just wanted to kick it off by talking about the main material in the exterior. This is Air's 1680D that you're going to see in a lot of their products, so in their Travel Pack 2. Travel Pack 2 small, a lot of their other accessories like the Travel Kit and the Dop Kit, they use the same material. And it almost feels like you kind of just know it's an Air product, I don't know, based on the way it's designed. It's very minimalist. Um, I think it's personally very great looking minimal design and everything's very well considered aesthetically. Um, so you can typically tell it's an air product. So let's get into the details here. Starting on the back, we have a nice air logo. I like the way it's positioned and that little Hypalon tag kind of at the right there. And then we have this uh, D-ring here if you want to maybe attach your keys or anything else or if you want to attach it inside your bag. That's there as well. Just a handy little feature. And I mean, I just like the way it looks in the back here. Just a little tiny tiny thing. Um, nice uh, zipper here, but first this front pocket. So this opens right up. It's going to be good for uh, like maybe if you want to stick boarding documents in there that can fit in there or smaller, smaller items, flatter items. This will tell you what it is. The air travel zip wallet black with their little serial product number on there. And uh, yeah, the main event, let's open it right up. I like this Hypalon zipper here. It's nice. It's a YKK zipper. Um, a lot of the times air can have really jingly zippers, at least on their travel backpack. It's something we've brought up in the past, but this is pretty silent and that opens right up, opens up fully clamshell style and you have some nice organization on the interior. So on the back, we've left a tag here, uh, just to kind of show the size. This is kind of where the passport would go. So that would just stick right in the back. If you do want to take a look at any of these specs, make sure to screenshot it. Looks like it's a little bright for the camera there. Um, but, um, you know, more details over on packhacker.com and then link to Air's site from there. Um, yeah, and then you have these little divider pockets here for, you know, just additional travel documents or things like that. I guess you could toss your boarding passes behind here as well. So that offers some nice organization. It has this felty feel on the inside, which is a nice feel. Um, like if you compare this to something from Bellroy, which is a little bit more like, I think Air feels a little more technical and like just like tight whereas Bellroy feels a little more luxury and like leather accents things like that going on so this has a nice soft interior and then a more technical outside feel um you know space right here for if you want to toss a pen in i know a lot of people have to fill out customs forms it is rfid safe which is nice and again it's that cordura ballistic nylon uh, logo here um you know I don't know, do you need all this space for a travel zip wallet? I mean, that's totally up to you. I think personally for my needs, it's a little bit large. I would usually have a smaller wallet um, and then I would just find mini accessories. Like instead of having a full size pen, like a little Fisher Space Pen backpacker pen or like the James brand Stillwell, is another example of a smaller pen. Um, but if you just wanna, you know, just toss your everyday stuff in here, it can be good. I like the little zippered pocket down here, maybe for coins or anything that you just want to keep locked up inside of here at all times. Um, you know, definitely nice to have that option. Another zippered compartment within the main zippered compartment to keep everything secure. Uh, stacks for cards here, which is great. Um, looks like we got one, two, three, four. I like that they're tiered, so it's pretty easy to get access to the cards on the inside. And then if we open this up, it's almost like a kind of a wallet feel down here. And if you have cash, you can toss it in. And I like this middle kind of nylon divider pocket that you can see here. So when you open it up, it's like a wallet. You know, let's say I'm, I'm headed over to uh, to London to visit Nathan and Rebecca, our two contributors over there. You know, I'm, I've got my USD on this side, and then when I arrive, I've got uh, my pounds on this side, my British pounds on that side. So that's nice to have that separator uh, of currency. It's always really helpful to have that in a travel zip wallet. So this has been our quick hit of the air uh, travel zip wallet. Make sure to head over to packhacker.com for more details on this. And if you like more detailed and in depth videos, make sure to check out our main YouTube channel, Pack Hacker, as well. We'll see you in the next video.